we have a question here from Demon D. Nice name, great info. I really dig your analysis. Thank you. I've got an F303 flight controller. Want to do a new build? Little B20, Sunny Sky 2204, etc. Frame suggestion. That would be fun and challenging. I will tell you what. I will tell you what. This is the first. This is the Mixuko. It is the first of these pure X frames that I ever built. And I've got to tell you, if you build one of these, you will be a better builder. Because, like, let's say that you're okay at soldering, but, like, sometimes your solder joints aren't great, and so you try not to desolder things too much because you're worried you'll overheat the board, right? Well, I guarantee you by the time you get done with this build, you will be good at soldering, <laughs> or you'll have fried the board. You'll get good. And you have to solve so many interesting problems trying to fit everything in here. You have to really think about what you're doing you have to really figure stuff out. This will make you a better builder. So even if you're not interested in flying one of these, well, if you're really not interested in flying one of these, then don't build one. But if, if you are the least bit interested in building one of these, build one of these instead of uh, another 210. And I don't just mean the Mitsuko. The Mitsuko is fine if that's what you like. The Mitsuko, the Krieger, and the QQ190, the Quad Questions QQ190. I got to tell you, I think... I think the QQ190 is a better frame than this Mitsuko. Um, um, because, like, this top plate, this is, I think this is, maybe it's 2 millimeter carbon. I don't have a micrometer here to measure it, so I could be wrong. But it's 2 millimeter carbon for the top pod on the Mitsuko. The QQ190 is 3 millimeter. The camera for the Mitsuko is just sort of friction fit in here. And if you look at my review of the QQ190, it's got this really nice little locking mechanism that holds the camera in. The camera for the Kiku, uh, for the Mitsuko is actually glued in with foam tack glue. I don't know if you can see that. Yeah, that's okay. It's, it's probably, it's fine. But, like, I don't know. The other one is held in with screws. Um, yeah, uh, I, about the only thing I think the Krieger has, not the Krieger, the Mitsuko has going for it is that the camera pod on the on the Mitsuko, you can tilt it, you could tilt it to 90 degrees if you wanted to, whereas the QQ190 maxes out at 40 degrees. Although they do make, they have, I don't think it's for sale yet, but it was on their Facebook page, they make a 60 degree camera pod for racing. So, so anyway, I think between the Mits, I really expected to love the Mitsuko. And when I saw the QQ190 first, then I saw the Mitsuko, I was like, all I could see was the things that the QQ190 got right and the Mitsuko didn't get right. And I feel terrible saying that because Andy Shen is an amazing frame designer. He's got a thing that he does and he does it damn well. And he comes out with more, like, like if you look at Warp Quad, like Soma has come up with some really cool frame designs, no doubt. But like Andy Shen has come up with 27 really cool frame designs. It's insane. So, and, and also... Andy Shen runs a great business. A friend of mine placed an order for a Mako frame today, and 30 minutes later, he received a shipment notification from Andy after Andy had to tell him that the color that he asked for wasn't in stock and which color would he like. Now that is service. So, I, you know, Shen Drones deserves your business and they make great products. All said. But, well, I've shown you the Mitsuko. i got to show you the QQ. And, and I have a review of the QQ190 on my channel. You can check it out. Obviously, it's a bottom plate, right? No big deal. It's a, it's a bottom plate. And here's the camera pod on it. Now, look at that. Look at that. It's three millimeter carbon, I believe. Again, I don't have a micrometer. It's this cool little locking with, with actual screws and these little cross pieces lock the camera in place. There's a neat little, they send you a little screw to act as a... Uh, uh, I don't know what to call it, to sit, f sit in this hole and let the camera pivot. It acts as a pivot. It's just really well thought out in every way except for this VTX mount, which I had to file the crap out of it to get the VTX to fit properly because it's designed for a pigtail. So the QQ190, if I had to spend my own money today between a Shendron's frame and the QQ190, I would take the QQ190 as much as I love and respect Andy Shen as a designer and, and the way he runs his business, you know. Uh, I think the QQ190 is a better frame. I haven't flown it yet, so 
but I mean, how much difference? How much difference could there be? So uh, yeah, that's that's my little two cents about that. You asked, do you have a frame suggestion that would be fun and maybe challenging? Just to sum up that answer, and the answer is for a fun and challenging frame and a different flight experience. If you haven't flown one of these, give it a try. I'm not guaranteeing that you'll love it, but it's really weirdly different than flying like a 210 H quad. Yeah, pick one of these, Mitsuko, Mixuko, uh, any of these X frames, and by the time you're done getting everything in this little pod, you will be a better builder. That's the answer to that question. <laughs>